Major changes to the state system that funds affordable housing programs are headed to the governor's desk. We have told you about the state's Sadowski Fund before. It is a pot of money every year set aside for housing programs that's been swept year after year instead to help balance the budget, not used for its intended purpose. And now, as the funds are needed most after the pandemic, the pot could be cut in half again. Investigative reporter Carla Ray live in studio. And Carla, there is good and bad to this change, right? Yeah, Greg, under the proposed changes, half the money that's collected each year for the fund would be used to address sea level rise, resiliency, and wastewater issues, setting up a multi-year plan to address flooding and the rising sea level that the DEP would update each year. But lawmakers say it would also mean the remaining amount in the fund for housing could not be swept for other issues. Building new affordable apartments, helping people buy their first homes, and helping current owners fix up their houses are the primary goals of the state's Sadowski Fund. Florida uh, is and has been in an affordable housing crisis, and being able to access these dollars is crucial. But for more than a decade, money in the fund generated by a portion of the dock stamp taxes people pay when they purchase new homes in Florida has been swept and used for other priorities. Last year was supposed to be the first time the full amount of money would be allocated to local programs in years. But then... Of course, we had COVID, and so there was a line item veto of the ship funding. Now, efforts to restructure the fund would permanently reduce the amount of money allocated for affordable housing programs. Lawmakers passed legislation which would redirect about 50% of the fund to sea level resiliency and wastewater efforts. For this year, that would mean $209 million would be left for housing. We shouldn't be defunding affordable housing at all. We need to make affordable housing a priority. Orlando Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith is one Democrat who spoke out against the change, but advocates say it's not all bad. Florida Housing Coalition President Jamie Ross says the reduction in annual revenue comes with a promise to stop the sweep of the amount left over, which means housing programs could be guaranteed more money than we've seen in years. We have been suffering through sweeps for such a long time that most legislators, because of term limits, don't even know what we're talking about when we say use all the housing trust funds for housing. So the stop the sweep portion of the proposed changes doesn't actually make up for the fact that the need is greater than ever this year. The projected revenue for the fund from this year was $423 million, so advocates are asking the legislature to add in $225 million in non-recurring funds for housing this session. That would be worked out during budget negotiations, and the money could come from President Biden's Relief Act. Of course, we'll watch it. In studio, Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.